roundup where we talk all things Phoenix. The weather's played its part this week, but we're going to kick off, as always, with Jim Shirts, a message from Harrison, and what Drew's been up to as well. Well, very nice, Jim, keeping up with the floral theme, as always. Nice blue flowers, various different angles, all making up Jim's wonderful shirt this week. And young Drew surprised his dad and his mum um, on holiday in Lanzarote. They hadn't expected that they packed the Phoenix shirt. So well done, Drew. And that caught you out, Rossi, didn't it? So H, good to have you back. How's, um, how's the injury? Yeah, it's uh, looking better. Probably won't be bowling this week. Maybe not next week, but excited to get a bat in. And does it feel, feel as though it's healing quite yeah, nice? Yeah, no, it, feel, it feels quite good. Feels feels like it's healing well. Not doing anything to help it heal, though, so just <laughs> going along with it. No, all right, well, good luck, mate. Cheers, mate. And Harrison with Alan was at Lords the other week for the 100 game, and that means you pay your pilgrimage to the Father Time Wall, where obviously we are featured there, Family Phoenix Cricket Club. And a big thank you to all our Phoenix members who completed the player survey for the Surrey Cricket Foundation. As you can see, there we are in the group of 20 plus of us that did it. And we're up against some very big names there and very big clubs. So it's a very good effort from, from us. It's time for this week's fixtures. <laughs> So fixtures for this weekend, the ones are away at Blackheath and the twos have a week off and they have a game booked against Eversley in a friendly, but that may not go ahead or that may change the opposition. Sunday sees our traditional fancy dress game. It's an inter-club game, but a lot of fun. And on Wednesday sees an away game for our T20 team and that's away at Highways Hedgehogs. Well, there's no match for anyone to introduce the match report to this week. But let's at least see how we did our best to get the game on. Friday evening saw President Dave Dimsdale down with Yogi, Ryan, Kean and Sandeep to see whether they could cover the pitch enough to save the game for the ones on Saturday. Evening Yogi's at Hawley, but the two's playing away tomorrow? Yeah, away at Farncombe. Yeah, so... Uh, and what do you reckon the chances of that going ahead's going to be? Oh, very dodgy, isn't it? The weather's, what, 98% chance of rain. Hopefully there's going to be some... Uh, some dry patches so we can get a game in. We've got a good side? Yeah, we have, yeah, yeah, confident. And what do you reckon the chance of getting a game on here with the covers on, do you think that'll work? Oh, well, now we've put the covers on. I mean, look at that, that's just a fantastic job that is. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, it's, it, it'll keep the pitch dry and it's, um, was it rain till about 12 o'clock and then there's a period of uh, lull? Yeah, guess so, so. hopefully the ones who we put it out for uh, Are you a drink? It. Are you a drink? Thanks, yeah. mate. Cheers, Yogi. Okay, cheers then. So the next morning, pitch inspection. Looked like the covers held up pretty good to keep the weather off the pitch, but what about the outfield and surrounding area? My goodness, everything that could have been done to get the game on was done. And finally, it was decided to call it a day and call the match off. Both games cancelled today. Yep, I'm yep. um, gutted. Uh, really looking forward to today's game. Um, really wish we could play. If it was Rosie's choice, we would be playing still. <laughs> I said, bring your swimming shorts, you'll be all right. <laughs> um, but roll on next week. Roll on next week. Come on, you Phoenix. Come on, you Phoenix. So with the washout of this weekend, it's any two from four still. Blackheath probably needing to win all of their games now to give them a chance of promotion. Obviously, Phoenix at the top doing well, but as you'll see, the fixtures coming up will decide the two that will be promoted. And this is the one's last four fixtures, and this is why it's not a fait accompli, because we're away to Blackheath, away to Milford, and away to Bourne, all our rivals for promotion. The only other game being on the 19th, where we play our last home game against Headley. And this is the last weekend of the season, the top four, all in action playing each other, and therefore championship could be decided on that day and if you thought that was exciting have a look at div 7 and where the twos are 
There's just over a point that is separating the top five teams. Guildford were the main beneficiaries of the washout this weekend. They got a concession, so they closed the gap as well. With us not having a game next week, it will be nail-biting stuff, and hopefully some results will go our way. And these are the two's last three games, and to be honest with you, we probably need to win them all. Away at Falcon Wanderers, and then two home games against Bramley, and also against Bagshot Lee. A game against Bramley probably puts the other one out, whoever loses. Loses. And then the other big games that are also there are Elstead away at Guildford and Guildford have another home game against Shelford. So not everybody can win and you never know how this may end up. And all that was discussed amongst many other things of putting the worlds to rights in the pub on Saturday. Sunday saw the women's softball finals at Fenhurst CC and congratulations to the Phoenix Flames who put up an absolute fantastic effort. With the restructure of women's cricket this year, there's been an absolute transformation in the performance and fun that these girls have managed to have. So congratulations, Phoenix Flames. We're all very proud of you. The 23rd of September is a big, big night for the ones and the twos at the Mitchett Centre. It's a gym shirt special, so make sure you order yours and we've got plenty of karaoke and plenty of pink jazz. So keep the date free and also get your Syrup Award nominations in for 2023. You won't want to miss it. So remember, I like it. Do you? Let's have a look at the Fantasy League. With games running out, it looks like it's going to take something miraculous to catch Rosie at the top there with Rose Dog. But Ryan's still in the frame with CMP and Charles moving up into third. Matt fourth, yours truly fifth. Last year's champion sixth, Kean. He missed out the other week. Then Jamie, Baz, Tom just breaking into the top ten and DHG in tenth. Well, all good things have to come to an end and the streak that the club had of 24 matches has been an incredible achievement. So let's just review some of that. Well, this has been an incredible journey for the club, starting all the way back on the 30th of April 2022 at home to Frimley. No one thought that 15 months later would be the next time that we were beaten in our Anson League game. It's one of those records, 24 games, or league games on the trot, I should say, unbeaten is going to be one that is going to stand for an awful long time. And everybody in the club contributed to this incredible achievement. So the streak consisted of 31 players. We scored over 4,000 runs, took over 200 wickets and bowled the opposition out 17 out of the 24 matches we played. We used five different wicket keepers, accounting for 31 of the dismissals, five run outs, 66 fielding catches. We've had four fifers and 10 centuries to achieve this milestone. So that's all we've got time for this week and hopefully next week we'll get some cricket in. We're going to play you out with the streak and a bit of a celebration of that. So I'll see you next week, God willing. Come on you Phoenix. Come on you Phoenix! <laughs>